YouTube, Cheap Survival coming back at you again with another video, and made a sheath for my knives. As you can tell, that's some incredible retention to keep this dang thing in there. I mean, holy crap, is it tight? Oh, takes some effort to actually get it out. But made this one a little longer than necessary so I'm gonna be making a shorter one this one is just gonna enclose the blade so you have the thumb as you can see even up to that point it still stays in there and it's a pretty nice pull so I'll show you how I made it first off you gotta cut out some cardboard obviously Two good sides. There we go. Take a little duct tape. And we're going to put it on here. just to make it easily slide in and out. Smooth sides on the inside, so it works better. And just to start off, we'll go ahead and take a nice chunk of duct tape. And I'm going to go ahead and secure these ends, this end, together, so that it doesn't move or anything. Okay, nice and good. Now, and then I'm going to sew it together. Got some colors here. I had one I was using, but oh, here it is on the ground. Let's take some of this. That off. Get a needle. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this part because it always takes forever. All right, got it all done. I found it's easier with pliers. Stick it through. Pliers back. Now, I just put a hole on the same side because it holds it together better. Well, it's just the easiest way I found to do it. There 
we go. Now we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Okay. Now I'm going to pause. And I'll come back in a little increments and show you how I'm doing. Alright. Now I'm about halfway down. Well, over halfway now. Starting to run out of string, which means I'm gonna have to restring it. But I had no problem. I'm just putting the loop over that. Makes it a little stronger. Oh, looks like I need to restring a little bit early. Yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and restring early. Alright, I'll get back to you further along. Okay, I am all done, all the way back to the top. See some duct tape. I'll go ahead and start with the top. Just wrapping it in the tape. Now we are pretty much done. Right there. Let's try her out. There we go. Little makeshift sheath. And you just, oh, like I said, has some serious retention. I don't want to push it too far forward. that hole so that you can pull it back out and I'll probably I don't know just leave it like this or yeah probably leave it like this or maybe make some holes I'll think about it for now this is how it goes or might even try and put on like a belt loop or something like that. See how that goes. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think that's about done with my knife project. So I've made the knife, made the sheath, and I'm pretty much done. If I had any, I went ahead and decided I'm going to do a uh, belt loop. So I took a piece. Oh, a little piece of cardboard. Now I'm just going to attach it with some duct tape. And I got another piece here. Gonna do the same thing. Just gonna wrap it around and belt loop. Now I'm gonna take a few minutes to reinforce it, and I'll get back to you. 
Okay, got the belt loop attached. Thickened it up. And it all's nice and good. Then also on this end, before I attach the belt loop, I put like five extra pieces of tape at the end so it doesn't poke through easily, but as you can see, it's not moving. Holds on there great. Not only can this act as a belt loop, but it could also act as, you can put like some paracord through here and use it as a neck knife, which is pretty cool. But that is it for this series of videos of me building a knife. This is the one I built. This is my number four. And as always, this has been Cheap Survival. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Over and out.